In this video, we introduce you to a set of rules and laws which can be used to simplify Boolean expressions. So in a previous set of videos, we explored the use of Carney maps to simplify Boolean expressions. However, it's also possible to simplify expressions without them by applying rules of Boolean simplification. This is not only an important skill for exams, but also something you may be required to do if an expression contains more than four variables. Although it's technically possible to use a Carney map to simplify expressions with five or more terms, it becomes very hard to visualize and therefore increasingly prone to human error. We will be going over the five rules that the exam board wants you to know about specifically shown in red. We will also cover the rule of absorption shown in orange. Although not in the spec, it will really help you to understand it. We'll also touch on the eight general rules shown in yellow. Again, these general rules are not listed in the specification technically, but a solid knowledge of them will help you massively grasp many of the concepts across the topic of Boolean algebra. So these general rules, as I'm referring to them, are quite basic and can be applied easily without having to use more advanced simplification techniques. These general rules fall into two categories, AND and OR. Here are the four generic AND rules. Remember, with AND, both terms have to be one or true for the result to be one or true. And these are the four general OR rules. Remember, with an OR, only one term has to be one or true for the result to be one or true. So let's work through the rules so they make logical sense to you. Consider the rule x and zero equals zero. Well, this is an AND rule. So for the output of an AND to be true or one, both inputs also need to be true or one. Regardless of the value that's being held in x, the output must be false or zero as the other input in this expression is zero. So x and zero must always be zero. Don't forget x is just a placeholder, it could be any variable, and also the variables could be swapped and this rule would still work. So although the rule may be presented as x and zero equals zero, you can use it to match many different expressions. Consider the rule x and one equals x. But once again, this is an AND rule, so both inputs need to be true or one for the output to be true or one. The rule states that one input is already true or one. So the output will have to be the same as the second input. In other words, if x is zero, then the output will be zero. And if x is one, the output will be one. Again, x is just a placeholder. It could be any variable. Next, let's go over the five rules of Boolean simplification that are stated in the specification. That's De Morgan's law, distribution, association, commutation, and double negation. We will start by going over De Morgan's law, and in doing so, we're actually going to touch on and introduce double negation and association. So De Morgan's law is a way of simplifying Boolean expressions by inverting all the variables and then inverting the whole expression. Essentially, De Morgan's law states either logical function and or or may be replaced by the other given certain changes to the expression. And using this law allows statements to be simplified so they only use NAND or NOR gates. And this results in simpler logic circuits, which in turn makes it easier to build microprocessors. As an example, solid state drives are made up of purely NAND gates. There are two versions of this law. So De Morgan's first law states that not A and B is the same as or equivalent as not A or not B. If we draw the logic diagrams and associated truth tables for these Boolean expressions, we can prove that the same set of inputs, A and B, result in the same output. So these two expressions are equivalent. D. 
De Morgan's second law says not A or B is the same as not A and not B. Again, the logic diagrams and truth tables prove that these expressions are logically equivalent. So let's look at the steps for successfully applying De Morgan's law to turn not A or B into not A and not B. Remember, you can only apply this rule to one operator at a time. So step one, change the or for an and or vice versa. Step two, not the terms on either side of the operator. Step three, not everything that has changed. Now, at first, it might appear that applying these steps has made the situation worse, not better. However, we can now apply the rule of double negation. This rule states that two knots cancel each other out. For example, not zero equals one and not not zero equals zero. Finally, we simply remove the brackets because they are necessary. So by following these three steps, we have an expression that logically behaves exactly the same way as the start, but now we're using an and instead of an or. Of course, we can perform this transformation in reverse by following the exact same steps. So let's use what we've learned to simplify the Boolean expression x equals not, not a and not b, or b. Remember, we can only apply De Morgan's law to one operator at a time, either the and or the or. Now, in this case, we're going to convert the and operator into an or. So we're applying De Morgan's law to the part of the expression shown in red. Why this part? Well, simply because it has more not operators surrounding it, and we are hoping that de Morgan's law might provide us some way to get rid of them. OK, so having picked our term, the AND symbol, and turned it into an OR, we move on to step two, and we knot the terms on either side of the operator. We then knot everything that has been changed. We're done with de Morgan's law, and now our expression contains ors. Having done so, we can easily spot other errors to simplify. We can start by removing the double negation. We can now apply a new rule, the rule of association. This rule allows us to remove brackets from an expression and regroup variables. The following three expressions are logically equivalent. We've got A or B or C, A or B or C, A or B or C. Consider these three phrases in English. Craig and his friends James and Tom are coming to the party. James and Tom and their friend Craig are coming to a party. Craig, James and Tom are coming to a party. Essentially, all these phrases mean the same thing. We're just using different groupings. Finally, we can use one of our general OR rules we covered at the start of the video, which was X or X equals X. Or to put it another way, X or X has to be equal to whatever the value of X is. We can apply this to the rule B or B and simplify it down to just B. We've simplified this Boolean expression from X equals not, not A and not B or B to simply x equals a or b. While discussing De Morgan's law, we touched on two other rules you need to know about, double negation and association. So we're going to recap those two rules in isolation quickly, and then we're going to move on and explain distribution and commutation. So what is double negation? If you reverse something twice, you end up back where you started. So not not a is a double negative and just means a. And there's the Boolean algebra for it. In real life, it's like saying I don't not like you, which actually means I do like you. Association. This rule allows us to remove brackets from an expression and regroup the variables. 
there are two versions of this rule. There's the or association rule and the and association rule. And we covered the real life analogy of Craig and his friends James and Tom. Commutation. So this rule states the order of application of two separate terms is not important. And again, there's an or and, and version. So in other words, A or B is equivalent to B or A. And in the same way, A and B is the same as saying B and A. A real life analogy would be Tom and Jane are going shopping. It's the same as saying Jane and Tom are going shopping. Distribution. This rule allows us to multiply or factor out an expression. Again, there's an or and an and version. So with the or version, we can say A and B or C is the same as A and B or A and C. With the, a, with the and version, we can say A or B and C is the same as saying A or B and A or C. So a real life analogy would be you can choose one main course and either a starter or dessert would be the same as you can choose one main course and one starter or one main course and one dessert. We have multiplied or factored out the parts of the expression. We have covered the general rules as well as the five official rules listed in the spec. Finally, we'll cover one more rule, absorption. Although this is not mentioned in the specification, a good understanding of this rule will really help you when simplifying Boolean expressions. So absorption, what does it mean? Well, where the rule applies, the second term inside the brackets can be eliminated and absorbed by the term outside the brackets. Now to apply absorption, there's a couple of conditions that need to be met. The operators inside and outside the brackets must be different, and the term outside the brackets must also be inside the brackets. So if you look at the OR version of this rule, we've got A OR brackets A and B brackets. Well, the operator outside the brackets OR is different from the one inside AND. The term outside the bracket A must be inside the bracket. Well, it is A. Both rules apply. So we can simplify that whole expression down to A. They mean the same thing. There's a very similar situation going on with the AND version of the absorption rule, as you can see on the right. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What are the rules of simplifying Boolean expressions? So just before we end this video, we want to make you aware of our freely available Boolean algebra cheat sheet. This is a double sided cheat sheet that comes in A4 or A3 version, which can be used as posters. And it covers all the information on Boolean algebra, various logic gates, truth tables, definitions, and a lot more material will be going over in future videos, all in one handy double sided sheet. You can find this over at student.craigandave.org. Just scroll down to where it says A level revision. If you select that, you will see OCR A-Level Revision, including a whole bunch of free resources, including these cheat sheets. You can click download, no subscription or logins required, and you'll get access to this cheat sheet.